Hi guys, um, I'm back with a depression update. <sighs> well, <laughs> it's not going great. Um, I made a lot of progress recently um, as far as like changing my life and making new friends and um, graduating school, getting licensed. Um, <laughs> what was I saying? Uh, yeah, um, but then I had a backslide because I found out some stuff. Um, some health related stuff that was not my fault. And now, uh, then after that, like something happened where, I'm just gonna say it, like I, my heart is broken and I hate men, like I hate them. I just, I'm done at this point, I'm just done because like honestly, I can't, I can't like make it work. And I know that I can be a lot. Like I know it, I know I can be a lot. I mean, I have borderline personality disorder. I know that I lash out. I know that I say hateful, mean things. <laughs> but let's not pretend that everybody else is like an angel because, because they're not. And, and people say mean things all the time to me. And I just am like, uh, okay, you know, it's like a punch in the face. And then I like powder my face and I move on. Like, I mean, I'm not going to take it. I'm not going to take it forever, but like, I mean, I'm not going to hold it against you because I know like people are struggling and I know I'm, I'm one of them. I mean, everybody is this COVID is making every, this mask wearing, like, I'm going to be honest with you, my um, second to the last relationship, third relationship back, I, I can't even remember at this point, oh my God, <laughs> that relationship was like semi-physically abusive, I don't know why I say that, like, I feel like I'm protecting him, I don't know, still, um, he wasn't like abused, like, he didn't punch me in the face or anything, but he would like put his hand over my mouth and, um, like the last thing that he did really bad was like put both hands over my mouth and to like smother me. So every time I wear the mask, like for some reason, I st like I that flashback not too long ago in my mind where I was like, I know what this reminds me of. I feel like claustrophobic under the mask. Now, do I still wear the mask? Yes. I'm not saying don't wear the mask, wear the mask, but like with the mask comes like feelings of claustrophobia, feelings of like anxiety. I'm in a, a bunch of Facebook groups and everyone's complaining about that who have mental health issues about the mask being, it's like making you anxious. So anyways, so there's a lot going on and, 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 and people are like lashing out at you and the traffic and everyone's yelling at everybody and you turn the TV on and everybody's, everyone's fighting and I mean, so anyways, so I went to the doctor and uh, I said, I need some more pills cause I can't, I can't, <clears throat> I can't, which is not true. I'm sure I could, you know, without pills. But I would be drinking a lot and I would probably, you know, be like delusional or something. I don't know. I probably would have already checked right out, you know, of reality because it's like I need, in order to function in reality, I feel like I stay on the pills. Like I'm not on Kanye's level or anything, but I'm not, I don't know. Anyway, Abilify. Oh, I probably shouldn't show you. That has my like name on it and everything. Um, so she gave me the 10 milligrams to start. And it was like one a day. Well, um, my review is this. And I don't know if everyone's had this experience. But I took it at night. Everything's fine. Nothing happened. I woke up to get the dogs ready for the morning 
And I'm like in the living room and all of a sudden, I just felt like this wave of like heat and nausea just like, like come over me. I started to feel dizzy and I had to sit down. I just had to sit down and I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna throw up. And um, like I knew right away that it was like side effect from this. Cause like, I just don't have these types of things. It, like I would have been able to recognize the difference between a panic attack and like a side effect from Abilify. And that's what I'm afraid people like will take this and they'll think, oh no, that's just my, that's just my paranoia or my anxiety or anything. I don't think so because I actually tried it a second night because I went online and they said, oh yeah, no, your body has to get used to it. And I'm like, oh man, I don't know if I want to, that was really bad. So I did, but anyways, you know, I got to keep on trying. So I took it a second night and the same thing happened the next day. And I was like, I'm not taking this. I'm not taking this uh, because it's, it's really bad. It was no better. In fact, it was worse because I think I started to panic. Like I knew it was what it was, but I panicked because I thought I'm going to throw up because some people did say they threw up online. So I was like, oh, <laughs> and so bottom line is, is that Abilify has not worked for me. I couldn't take any more of it. And as you can see, it's like a full bottle, basically. I'm going uh, to, I should probably tell you what I'm on in case you don't watch my videos. Um, I'm on um, 150 of Wellbutrin XR and 10 milligrams of Prozac every night which sometimes I up to 20, depending on how bad the day was. So basically tomorrow I go see my doctor and I'm gonna tell her about this experience with Abilify because she was, you know, this was like supposed to be the checkup, like how are you doing? I'm not doing well. <laughs> uh, I can't take this. So I think I'm just gonna have her up my dosage of Abilify, no, but Prozac. And I also need to get a sleeping pill, even if it's just for a week. Like I'm not trying to, I don't, I'm not trying to get addicted to anything. I'm not trying to, uh, whatever it's called, you know, pill shop or whatever. I, I honestly can't sleep. Everything's fine in the day. I'm totally fine as long as I have something to do, and uh, I'm out and I'm doing it. I'm good. Um, but then, like as as I get ready for bed, I start feeling like kind of that dread. And then when I get in the bed, I'll like get this stomach ache. And it's like a beating heart in my stomach. It's, it's total anxiety, okay? Uh, I, know what it's, I know what anxiety is, and that's what this is. And I mean, I know where I know where it's stemming from. I know what's causing this, but I does it matter? Does does it does it matter if you know what's causing it? Like you can't change it, so you're just like having to suffer through it until it doesn't affect you anymore. Like until you're just numb, I guess. So that's where I am, guys. It's not it's not a great update. It's, but it's, it's not because I don't think it's because of the medication. I think it's legit because of like the events that happened to me recently. And then it's like how I feel like I made so much progress. Like you ever do that where you're just like, you're doing better, you're going along, one foot in front of the other, da 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 da. But then like something will happen and it throws you 10 steps back and you're like, whoa, what? And I mean like that uh, COVID thing, that threw us all 10 steps back. People got furloughed, fired, quit, had to quit, had to just do stuff, do other stuff because if you're like in the restaurant business and your restaurant closed down, I mean, some people, some people like look i know everybody's struggling and i'm not saying that my struggle is worse than anyone else's or easier or whatever i mean my struggle is just my struggle but i understand that everybody's struggling and so i'm not i'm just trying to make fun videos and live my life and just like 
<laughs> just like you know have a have like as mu much fun in the present as I can because like you never know you I could get COVID and die I mean like I don't know I mean this whole thing who knows what's going on I mean it could be the end of the world it could I mean it could be the zombie apocalypse it could be it could be a giant social experiment it could be um or at the, at the very least, it could just still be a horrible virus that's killing people and you don't want it. <laughs> Nobody wants it. I mean, so, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's just like, and that's always in the back of everybody's head, I think. It's like, oh God, I hope I don't get that, you know, like, mm. but, um, yeah, so <laughs> that's it, you guys. Um, tell me what you guys have been doing. Just give me some um, happy stuff in the comments or not. Tell me how bad it's been. I mean, like, let's let's just mis get commiserate <laughs> about our misery together. It doesn't matter. Um, and yeah, if anybody wants to tell me their great experience with Abilify, let me know. I can't take it, but you know, kudos to anyone who's helped. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys soon with a better update. I hope. Bye.